He was a small man in a game of Redwoods. Soft-spoken, but no soft touch. Calvin Murphy of Niagara University knew how to play the game. In recent years, the door to basketball fame has been open only to those who had to stoop to go through it. Now, five foot, 10 inch Calvin Murphy is proving to average size youngsters that good hands and a quick eye can, as before, beat Goliath. A more successful giant comes to mind when one thinks of the job of getting Calvin to Niagara. It was a labor of Hercules involving the forestalling of 250 colleges which had suggested that Murphy might like to get his degree in their gymnasiums. Reason for all this excitement was a basketball career at Norwalk, Connecticut High, which saw Murphy score over 2,000 points in three years, average 40 points a game as a senior, and win all American honors. Spare time would seem a precious commodity to such a specialist, but Calvin had enough to become a nationally known baton twirler. Fame rarely visits this bleak campus on the Canadian border, and such trips as it has made have been occasioned by basketball players. Larry Costello, Zeke Sinicola, and Boo Ellis have preceded Murphy as prominent Purple Eagles. Calvin Murphy moves through life to a springing beat which he likes to harness to basketballs, batons, and the bounce of rock records. His room is bright with his enthusiasms and the rewards they have brought him. Basketball has been the mainspring for more than half his 19 years. Well, I started playing uh, organized ball at the age of nine, I believe, in uh, Norwalk uh, City Leagues. How did you happen to start so early? Well, uh, my family has a history of playing basketball. My mother played basketball for a while with uh, a traveling team, and uh, I just picked it up from there. How does a smaller man adjust to a big man's game? What do you do to make up for your deficiency well, in we height? Have, we have to have a little bit more speed, and uh, we have to be physically fit to take the punishment if we ever get trapped under the basket with the big boys. Well, I try to get my shot off uh, quickly, as, you know, as much as I can, to stay out of their way from the outside, mostly with outside jump shots. Uh, no matter what happens on the course, you have to concentrate on your shot. And if you start letting uh, bruises bother you, it'll throw your whole shooting game off. I just concentrate mainly on the hoop, and uh, what happens after that just happens. He takes things as they come, but he often makes them move to his beat, performing what looks like the impossible by refusing to regard it as such. Niagara coach Jim Maloney, who is Merlin to this basketball Arthur, thinks Murphy is a giant in everything but height. What do you think is special about him as his coach? What are his strongest points? Well, I, I think just being a, a normal boy, a 19-year-old, and not letting all this uh, publicity and a, a cord go to his head, I think that uh, he reacts very well to it. So I feel uh, this is probably the most outstanding feature about the boy. And now what technically on the basketball court is the strongest thing about him? Well, he has many things I think that are outstanding. But the two things that impress me, I think, are his speed and his body control. I haven't seen anybody that really can stay with him. I think that he's quicker with the ball than anybody I've ever seen. And when he gets in traffic or maybe double team, he has such great body control that he fakes bigger men off their feet. Calvin's talents might be the better for a bigger package. And what he will do when he is a modest oak among the giant redwoods of pro ball is problematical. But right now, surrounded by the big men of college ball, he is averaging just over 42 points a game as a sophomore player on a small squad with a big schedule. Comparisons between man's accomplishments and nature's wonders are usually fatuous, but it does seem fair to say that Niagara's Murphy and Niagara's Falls have one thing in common. Both are hard to believe until you see them. This is Haywood Hale-Brun at Niagara Falls.